report that needs to investigate it. That's an independent body. We'll obviously be overseeing that effort, watching very closely uh, what the conclusions are. Uh, because as I said earlier, um, it, it may very well turn out that the, the, the ship owners are are liable, uh, and that would help you know cover some of uh, the costs. But again, it, it's too early for me to know exactly what happened. The ship did uh, lose power somehow. There were reports that it actually lost power twice. In other words, it was coming out of the, the inner harbor lost power, regained it, um, got it back. Uh, again, all of this needs to be subject to further investigation, uh, and then plowed into one of the piers, the supporting columns uh, of, of the bridge. So this is why the NTSB will be conducting an investigation, but, um, and, mm. and we, we will obviously be following that closely in Congress. Yeah. Also, the owners of this ship, um, the Synergy Marine Group, they've had other ships that have apparently been involved in at least three deadly accidents since 2018. So is that a red flag for you? Well, this is, you know, part of a, a pattern of uh, past uh, problems and, and, and violations. Uh, and, and again, all of this has to be subject to, you know, confirmation, but that obviously is a, a red flag. Uh, and that will go into the assessment of, of, of fault. Okay, and of I'm course, ultimately, who, who has to pay fuel. some of the, the, the costs here. But, you know, okay, in the immediate term, uh, I'm really glad the President ordered the Army Corps uh, to clear this, this channel so all the more our port operations can resume. And then ultimately, of course, as, as the President also said, uh, rebuild uh, this bridge that, uh, you know, carries over 35,000 vehicles a day. Right now, um, Vehicles, commercial vehicles that have hazardous material uh, have to be rerouted along uh, the outer beltway in Baltimore because they cannot go through uh, the tunnel, uh, the Baltimore tunnel, which would be the other uh, ways to, you know, get get through this, this harbor area underwater. Uh, so, obviously, lots of disruption. We're going to be dealing with that um, in terms of diverting traffic. I didn't know they had the but, tunnel. Uh, again. Right now, I didn't know they have a tunnel. The channel, you didn't know that? You know, no. Yes, and I'm we sure did. we'll get some more answers from I-95. the NTSB today um, as well. Senator Chris Van Hollen, thank you very much. Great to talk to you. Good to talk to you, Allison. A source tells CNN investigators briefly detained 